You just spent how many hundreds of dollars on this program and now you want to learn it in 10 minutes? Fine, I can do that. It's going to be a little bit rushed. I suggest checking out my four-hour tutorial. But for those of you too lazy to do that, let's go ahead. My name is Jeremy Schuback, and this is the Photoshop Crash Course in 10 Minutes. Um, first thing that you want to look at is I have a few uh, pictures already open. I have a ducky, I have a horse, things like that. Besides the uh, canvases that I have open, these are called canvases, I have two windows, the Layers window and the Tool window. If you don't see those, go into Window, and then you can click on Layers in order to get that open and Layers to close it again. In order to start moving images around, say from one image to another, you click it, and you drag it. If you try to do that and it's not working, that's probably because you're on the wrong tool. I'm on the Move tool right now, and the Move tool allows you to move things. Let's say you wanted to move this ducky image into the horsey image. Uh, yeah, I'll talk like that. Um, but you don't want this white area around. What you need to do is you need to select the active region. You need to select the white. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to use the magic wand to select a single color, select it, and then move it you'll notice that what got selected is the white part. So I actually need to invert this selection. So I'm going to right click in this area with the wand tool selected, right click in this area, select inverse, and now when I move this here, it, selects, it moves exactly what I want. I just went to the wand tool, I selected the inverse, and then I moved it in. So now I have the, uh, the duck, another duck, another duck. Now notice what happened when I moved those multiple ducks into here. With each separate image, we have a separate layer that's created. What is a layer? A layer is a separate image. Each individual image is its own layer inside of the canvas. So if I say want to delete this, all I need to do is click on this and move it into the trash can down here. If I want to delete this, I just move it into the trash can down here. So you'll notice that there's a couple of little logos, uh, little icons located inside of the layers palette. One of them's a trash can, one of them allows us to create another layer, and others of them do other things that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, for now what I want to do really is I want to set this behind the horse. And then we'll do another thing. So I'm going to turn this layer off for now by doing this and now select the horse. If I just use this tool, I'm kind of out of luck because all it does is select a single color. So if I click it and I hold, I can get the quick selection tool, which instead of just clicking in one area, I can increase its size with the uh, that button. Um, and now if I just click and drag, it will select everything under what I click and drag. Now, selection works in a funny way. You can never just select something with a single click of a button because objects are more complicated than that. What you need to do is in order to add to a selection, you need to hold down the button shift. So if I hold down the button shift, I'm able to add to a selection. You'll notice that I'm holding shift right now and that allows me to add it. If I get an area like this area right here and I want to subtract from the selection, I hold down alt and then click and drag and now I'm able to subtract from this selection right here. So I'm just going to subtract from this selection here by holding down alt and clicking and dragging and all of that and I can add to the selection by holding down shift. Let's say that I see little areas that aren't getting selected exactly how I want with the, click sele with the quick selection tool. I'll then go in and use my last Lasso tool. Lasso tool works like a pair of scissors in that all I need to do is, is just hold down Alt, click, and now between every click a line is formed. So you'll notice how a line is forming between each of these and this changes the selection in that way. I know I'm going a little bit quick but we only have 10 minutes to, to cover the entire program and frankly that's an insane amount of time to learn this program inside of. So I'm clicking all of this and when I finally decide I'm done, I don't decide I'm done right now, but if I were to decide I'd done, I was done, I would just press Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And now what we have is this horse on its very own separate layer. It's not a perfect selection, but it's going to have to be good enough for now. I can turn back on the ducky, and now what I can do is I can bring this layer behind in the layer stacking order, and we can see that this is actually behind in the layer stacking order. Now something that I'd want to do right here is actually change its colors. So in order to change the colors of the duck, I would go into Image Adjustment, where all of our color correction options are located. We're going to mostly use Levels. With Levels, we can move the slider to make it lighter or darker. So you can see that this makes it darker, this makes it lighter. I like it a little bit lighter. And then if we drop this down right here, we can change the individual blues, greens, and reds. I want to make it a little bit less yellow. Opposite of yellow is blue, so I go into blue, and I'm able to change it here 
here a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more green. I just go into the green drop down, make it a little bit more green, and I just kind of play around with it until I get it to more or less what I want. Yeah, that seems about right Like right there. I kind of like that. Let's preview it off, preview it on. Fits in a little bit better. If I want to erase out the bottom of it, for instance, I go into the eraser tool located right here, and then I can erase out the bottom of it like this. And now we have a wonderful duck sitting behind this horse in a very naturalistic way. Let's keep going. Let's say I wanted to go into this image and do things like remove this wire or remove this part. What am I doing on time? Halfway through. Uh, remove this wire from right here. What I would do is I would go in with the stamp tool. This is the stamp tool right here. I decrease the size of the brush with the square bracket tool. I hit Alt to sample and then I move it down here. And you'll notice that this allows me to copy and paste like that. I'm going to create and do all of these things on a new layer. So I just hit the new layer button and now I can click and drag um, uh, just to kind of do this right here. So on this uh, new layer, I am now making all of the changes. So remember what I did is I press new layer and now I'm able to make all of these fixes like this using the uh, brush tool. Uh, so notice that all of these fixes now, instead of being on a you know, layer where it's trapped, it's on a separate layer so I can turn these changes on and off. The advantage of this is if I do something such as I'm clicking Alt, I'm letting go, and then I'm copying. If I do something like make a mistake, it's not a big deal because it's on its own layer. So if I want to erase it, let's go to our eraser tool, I can just erase it like this and then keep going. Let's go back to our stamp tool and fix it like this. So I would go through until I have the entire horse completely fixed exactly what I want and we get it looking something more like this. Obviously this will take a little bit more finesse than what I just did right there. So let's um, let's go back into our duck, use the move tool to move this to not that image, um, but to this image right here. There we go. Let's increase the duck in size a little bit. I'm going to hit Control T to transform it. I'm going to hold down Shift to constrain proportions. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to combine all of these layers into one by Shift selecting them, right clicking, pressing Merge Layers. I'm going to turn off the duck layer. I'm going to select all of this right here. And then using the Quick Selection tool, I'm just going to click and drag across the horse. I'm going to hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So now we have a layer that is just the horse. I'm going to bring this above right here. I'm going to turn the duck back on. So now we have the duck behind it. Remember I showed you ways to refine that selection, but we really didn't have uh, didn't have the finesse. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to change its colors with image adjustment um, levels. I'm going to bring it so it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to make it so it's a little bit less red. And in that way, I'm going to make it go with this a little bit more. I'm going to duplicate this horse uh, just by dragging it. Ah, escape but just by dragging it into the new layer button and then I'm going to uh, change the colors of this horse by going into image adjustment levels and make it completely dark. There we go. Now we have a completely dark horse. I'm going to hit control T and now we can see, oops, it's the wrong thing. So I'm going to actually invert this with control I. Perfect. Blur it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur and just kind of blur this all a little bit right here. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to erase out the parts of this that I don't want with the eraser tool. So there we go. Just going to kind of erase out these parts that I don't want. Looks pretty good right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down its opacity by going into opacity and just kind of bringing it down right there. Ah, oh, this looks truly awful. But we're going to keep going because that is what we have to do. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, I am now going to go to here. I'm going to click on this button. I'm going to change the colors of this entire level. This is where you change the uh, colors of the entire image. And just using our friend levels, I'm going to make all of it darker. Well, let's make it all of it a little bit more red. And presto changeo, fantastic. I guess what I'm trying to say is it takes a little bit more time to learn Photoshop than 10 minutes, but this is an introduction. Let's use our crop tool. Let's crop it down like this. Ah, that was wrong because there's values entered in right here. I'm going to crop it down like this. I'm going to hit enter. Now we have an image that looks like this. I'm not quite sure what that box is right there, but it will not leave us alone. But you know what? I don't really have the time to... Uh, care about that. If I want to save things out, I would go to File, Save As, and then I can do things such as save it as a JPEG for the web, save it as a Photoshop document to work it on it for later, or save it as a TIFF, uncheck, la uncheck layers, do it as a copy, and then I can send it to a professional printer. Good God, if this is your only experience with Photoshop, you have completely failed at the program. My suggestion is to spend four hours, dedicate yourself to learning it, because in ten minutes, this is about all you are going to be able to 
to get. Confused? I'm sure you are. Click on this button. Take four hours of your life, and I guarantee you, you will know it completely. All right, are we done here? Fantastic. Let's both move on with our lives. This has been Jeremy Schuback. Thanks for joining me.